In the UK, one in seven children is not up to date with the measles, mumps, rubella, or MMR vaccine. And that's a big deal. I'm David Green, Nurse Consultant for Immunisations at Public Health England. And in this video, I'll be talking to you about the importance of your child being up to date with the MMR vaccine. I'll also be clearing up some myths that you may have read about in certain corners of the internet. So the first dose of MMR vaccine is given around the age of one year. The second dose is offered when your child is a toddler, around the age of three years and four months. Crucially, you need both doses to be fully protected. One dose isn't enough. Your child may have a sore arm or leg, a headache, and possibly a fever for a day or two after the vaccine has been given. Don't worry, this is entirely normal after vaccination. Obviously, it's better for your child to be vaccinated on time. But if your child has missed a vaccine, don't worry, it can be given at any time. Make an appointment with your doctor for your child to be brought up to speed with the MMR jab. So why is getting the MMR vaccine so important? And what is all the fuss about now? The real worry at the moment is measles. Measles is a highly infectious viral illness. Some people with measles may need to be admitted to hospital. Some of them may have life-changing complications and some of them may even die. Measles is particularly serious for young children and pregnant women. If you're not immune to measles, you're at risk of catching it and you're also at risk of spreading it to others. Measles is a preventable disease. Almost 100% of people who've had both doses of the MMR vaccine are immune for life. Sadly, we're seeing an increase in measles cases at the moment, and this is directly related to too few people having had both doses of the MMR vaccine. Okay, let's address some of the elephants in the room, the horror stories that you may have read online. The idea that the MMR vaccine causes autism is totally, utterly, and completely wrong. Numerous scientific studies from across the globe, including a very large study published in 2014, has thoroughly debunked the myth that the MMR vaccine causes autism. If you hear anyone telling you that the MMR vaccine is in any way related to autism, you can be confident that they are completely wrong. There are no chemicals in the MMR vaccine that are harmful to your child in the tiny doses they receive. You may have read or seen online concerns about mercury in MMR vaccines. I can assure you that this is completely false. There is no mercury in the MMR vaccine. Having the jab does not overload your child's immune system. In fact, it helps it. Studies have shown that receiving multiple vaccines at the same time are in no way harmful to your child's immune system. In fact, your child's immune system will be working harder when it has a simple infection, such as the common cold. Finally, it's worth noting that one of the brands of MMR vaccine contains pork gelatin. If this is unacceptable to you, you can ask for the alternative brand called Priorix this does not contain pork gelatin and is just as safe and effective. I think I've covered the most common rumours that we see and hear, but if you have any specific concerns, you can talk to your GP or your practice nurse. Having jabs isn't fun, but it's really important for you and your child and your community that you're protected against measles, mumps and rubella. If you have any more questions, please write them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. I hope that's cleared a few things up for you and thank you for watching.